subconsciously. <laughs> it's my own fault. Hello, everybody. It is a wonderful, wacky Wednesday, and we are joined by none other than Daddy Joseph. You want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> you got to project. <laughs> I always say that to him. What's weird is like, he sits over here usually in this chair. And he picks up really good because he's closer. But whenever he's in that chair, he has the vocal cords of a mouse. <laughs> anyway, um, it's, it's going to be, oh God, I really hope it's going to be a good day. I need to preface this by saying to everybody that the internet may cut out at some point. Um, Is it still out there? I, I don't know, but I'm just giving them warning. Uh, Mediacom... Not one, not two, but three Mediacom vehicles were out here doing something. And you know, it never fails. They always want to run out there and mess with the box. Is that thunder? Uh, shit, I think so. That sounded like thunder. Bright. No, it's not. It, is a it was a little overcast a second. Give me one second, guys. It was a little overcast a second ago when I looked out the window. I don't think that was thunder. I think you're just hearing. I swear I heard thunder. It's actually pretty cloudy out there. They're not really gray clouds that much. I mean, there's a little grayness to them, but like it's, it's, I don't know. My, uh, my hair's blowing in the breeze over here. Joseph was like, I can feel that fan all the way back here. And of course, well, I'm not going to tell him what I told you. <laughs> but anyway, um. God willing, if everything goes right, it's it's a Fallout 76 day. Now, I can't blur my background out like I normally do because, you know, he's the main event today. You guys always let me know who matters in this stream. So, I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit to about there. Okay, I'm not cutting Joseph off. I'm just kind of sliding it over a little bit. He's, he's keeping uh, Mallory and Hoppy company. Um, but, uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this, you guys, and really hope for the best. Um, now I haven't tried playing any 76 since our last stream, so our character is literally right where we left it, full bags and all. I don't even remember where we were. I think we were in the, at the Morgantown train station. I believe that's where we were, the Morgantown train station. Feast on by. My game may have just froze up. I spoke too soon. I really did. This is my own damn fault. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It just it had to think about it for a minute there. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, this may not be my best stream. I think I may have forgotten to turn off my VPN. Yeah, guys, we'll see. Um, if I do anything uh, now that the game is running, it will crash the game. I already know that. Oh, God. Shit. Okay, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just see how she flies. How about that? There have been so many sirens today. What is going on? Sounds like it's in park. Oh, it's the end of the month. They're trying to hit their quota. Fixing the 4th of July That's true. So they're all out for 4th of July weekend. That is, in fact, yes, indeedy true. Um, yeah, we'll unlock this for Dandelion. Because I don't have that many caps on this tune. On my main tune, I'm, I'm almost at the cap for caps. I really hope that my internet is not going to act stupid today, guys. Why oh, is it still... Sh oh, okay. All right, so let's just do this and hope for the best. I'm having a good skin day. In fact, my nose, since I used that strip, is so smooth. Does yours seem smoother after you use one of those strips? It always feels better. That now, to be fair, I used a microfiber cloth to clean off the goose, and I really, really scrubbed, so maybe that was part of it. Plus, I scrubbed with my little scrubby pad in the shower. So, I'm having a really good skin day. Have you, have you um, guys or gals ever been shaving, like, your face or your legs or whatever? 
And um, as you're shaving, the thought enters your head, oh, this is going to be a good skin day for me. That's kind of like what's going on today. I'm wondering all that noise I'm hearing out there. I'm not hearing it now. So, this week was a shit show at the day job, guys. I'm so glad to be off and, and, and off tomorrow. I'm not rubbing your nose in it, so don't make a face. Joseph is working an eight day right now. Um, he's on what day what? Three? Four? Tomorrow will be four, right? Tomorrow will be four. Tomorrow will be four. So, tomorrow is the hump day of his eight day stretch. Um, God, I really... I, I think I turned off my notifications. So, if... If, um, if the... If my uh, stream is real laggy and whatnot, you guys are going to have to let me know. Because it's it's not laggy on my end, but it might be laggy on y'all's end. I think on our last stream, I came in here and I sold some shit to the vendor in here. And then I think I gave some bobby pins to a lady. I believe that's what we did last time. Um, just looking around to see if there's anything I need to grab. There's lots of bags of ice. It's super hot. Well, yes, that's true. It is super freaking hot. Not in here, but outside of here. Yeah, every time the the uh, I look at my my uh, weather app on the phone, it just needs one thing. It just needs to say one thing. Everything's hotter and worse. It's currently 105 right now. What? It feels like it's 105 right now. What is the actual temperature? 93. 93, and it feels like 105. I believe that in the south, it's extremely humid and muggy, mm -hmm. and so. Um, we all walk around with the ball sweat. It is what it is. All right, so we're here in Morgantown for two reasons. A, uh, to investigate the airport, and B, to find the next journal in, at Morgantown High School. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here into the um, airport and investigate, and then we're gonna make our way to the high school, which is a little ways away. Um, what gun are we using? Okay, I've got my my nine mil, but I believe we might uh, switch to the machine gun that I just started using. The quick ten mil machine gun. It has the same caliber. Oh wait, before we do anything else, we we also need to like buff up. All right, we're gonna eat some Alapa chili because it's. It's chili. Uh, Lamco mac and cheese and some boiled water. How about them? How about them apples? Yes. Now, I'm used to being able to literally sneak past pretty much anything. Okay, he didn't see me. Um, on my main tune. So, I, I still feel a little bit like a fish out of water. What the hell is that thing? I mean, it's just running around like a fool. Um, I still feel a little bit like a fish out of water. There's another one. Oh, there's quite a few. What the? Welcome to the first annual convention of the Scorched. Oh, he wants to come play. He's part of the welcoming committee. Okay, we got quite a few things. Hello. I guess I don't need to worry about sneaking. Um, I guess also I need to turn up my volume a little bit more because it's still not quite loud enough. I turned it up once, but I'm really not having a lot of sound here. Oh, there was somebody in the bathroom who just went to pieces, literally. Poor guy. 
He's literally hiding under the bed. He Oh, he was playing monster under the bed. Okay. And then he realized there were real monsters running around. And he was like, no, I'm done. And he just, I guess he overstimmed. Let's just say that. Wait, what did I just see? Oh, I thought I saw Scorched that was like frozen in T-pose. Sometimes you just see things. Oh, I like these little, these little lanterns in the ceiling. I wish we could build those. That'd be nice. Let's turn this up a little bit more. I had my volume down really low because for some reason, whenever I stream music, it comes out like really loud, like really loud. So I always turn it down kind of low because otherwise Joseph's like, I'm going to murder you. You good back there? Yeah, just watching. The Christmas Flood. I believe this is lore. So we're going to play this. I believe this is some of the story here. This is Maria Chavez speaking. Today is December 25th, 2092. Once in the world before the war, this would have been a joyous time to celebrate with loved ones. Now it's a time to reflect and to mourn. It was on this day 10 years ago that we lost... Can you hear it? So much in the tragic event we call the Christmas Flood. I'm making this recording in the hopes of ensuring the flood and its victims are never forgotten. I suppose the story really begins in November of 2077, the month after the war. Survivors from the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort sent a group to Charleston to ask for help and supplies. The city leaders turned them away. There was so much chaos and so much need back then, I suppose it was an impossible request to grant. <laughs> Failure to secure help led to a change in leadership for the survivors at the ski resort. Mm. A cold and brutal man named David Thorpe took charge. David Thorpe. He shaped those people into something terrible. They took what they wanted by force and killed anyone that stood in their way. Years later, Thorpe's girlfriend Rosalind led a raid in Charleston. They were spotted early and a fight broke out. A few of them escaped, but Rosalind was injured and taken prisoner along with some of the other raiders. By then, the responders were more or less running things in the city. We were doing pretty well for ourselves. We felt confident we could confront the raiders on their home turf, so mm -mm. we sent a group up into the mountains to see if we could make a deal. We hoped we could get them to leave us alone if we agreed to release some of the prisoners. It was wrong. Thorpe somehow got his hands on a mini nuke. He used it to blow the Somersville Dam. On Christmas morning, we lost almost everything. Our homes, our supplies, and most of our family and friends. The days and weeks that followed were the hardest of my life. But somehow, we held together. We kept the idea of the responders alive, even though there were only a handful of us left. That's the story of the Christmas flood. Tell your children. Tell everyone you meet. Let's keep the memory alive for as long as we can. So this is not the first time I've heard of David Thorpe today. I was listening to uh, a, a podcast today. And it was about the... Uh... Who the fuck? Get away from me. thought I saw something. Damn, I go through these bullets really fast, don't I? But, um, yeah, he, uh, him and Rose, Rosalind, excuse me, uh, they met when he was, now this was pre-Fallout, you know, like, they met and kind of, like, fell in love a little bit. Which is not the best story, believe it or not, because at the time, David Thorpe was still married to another woman. And then when uh, the bombs fell, he actually mourned his wife because he did love her. He was just cheating on her, you know. Um, and it kind of cemented the relationship between Rosalind and David. And there was an attack here at the Morgan the city of Morgantown, and uh, Rosalind was taken prisoner. And so the first responders went down there, like she was saying, to see if they could do, like, 
you know, basically by their ambivalence. Like, they were going to say, look, we'll release the prisoners if y'all just leave us alone. You know, let's, let's make peace. And instead, David was like, nope, 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 nope. And so he blew the Summersville Dam, and it goes all the way through Charleston and kills, I'd say, 90% of the humans living there. It was awful. Like, all, like almost no one survived. Even some of their own people. And I, I don't know if it was during that time or if it was at a later date, but Rosalind ended up uh, dying under... Uh, uh, responder custody and we will actually find her and in fact the weirdest part about it is and it's something that Bethesda hasn't spoken on is there's actually a situation where um, you know because we, we come across Rose, Rose later who it apparently carries the personality of Rosalind but here's the thing when did when did that happen? Like, did David Thorpe say, hey, look, I want to scan your brain just in case something happens and put it in this robot? Or is it something that he built later with, like, the memory of her? And it's not really her, her. It's kind of based loosely on her. Like, but this is never spoken on that because the, the, the timing just doesn't, like, fully add up. Uh, I delivered part of the supply shipment to your safe as requested. I wasn't sure where you were, guessing you're out in the woods again somewhere. I don't see your robot anywhere either, so I figure you're safe. I'm going to see if Maria, that's Maria Chavez, the one who was on the holotape, needs me to take anything back to Flatwood, so I'll be around for a day or two. Find me. I miss you. Gary. So I'm assuming Gary and Miguel were friends. They were just good friends. That's the thing about, um... Uh, Fallout that I really like. A lot of people complain and they're saying, oh, oh, Starfield was too woke. Um, there was too much representation. And I'm just, I'm here to say that, first of all, there's no such thing as too woke, um, when it comes to the world we live in. And second of all, um, Bethesda's been including people from all walks of life since they first got the uh, the rights to fall out. Sweet bean. My sweet Gary bean. Ah, oh, I'll be up at my camp. Maria's giving me a sanity day so I can relax. Join me. I hope you brought some of that comfort food from Flatwoods. We can have a picnic. Don't worry. If any volunteers stop by to learn stuff, the robot should be able to take care of them. I wrote a whole program to deal with that so I can actually relax and enjoy the great outdoors with you. Love you, dear heart. Miguel. So they are really good friends. I love that. I love that so much. Okay, I know some people are like, oh, they're just shoving it in our faces. The thing that you guys don't understand is, and I'm I'm sure, like, uh, Joseph will also, like, uh, agree with me on this, is, you know, when I was a, you know, a little gay kid having gay dreams... I never saw that on TV. I never saw that in video games. I never read about it in books. Like, it was something that everyone just kind of whispered about derogatorily. You know, like, we never had representation. So to have that in video games now, it's like, see? Not only do we exist, but we, we thrive. I don't like seeing eaten skeletons. That's gross. It's the main TV shows and stuff now, too, that we didn't get grown up. It's now that they can watch. You know, yeah. we never saw that. Yeah. says don't touch don't touch these things haven't worked properly since the last scorched attack so I've sealed them as is just don't we don't need them right now anyway Miguel so Miguel was their on call mechanic and apparently a uh, friendly camper and then um, uh, what's his face Gary was I guess their what do you call it? Their, um, their caravaneer? The supply guy? I mean, I'm just grabbing everything at this point. I'm not gonna go in... Wait, should I or shouldn't I? I don't know if it'll trigger the event. Should we do the event, guys? Let's see if we have a challenge to do an event. 
Harvest a wild plant. Choose some bubblegum. Complete a daily challenge. Complete a daily quest. Dilla crit hit. Okay, eat cake pie or candy. Kill a Mirelurk or scrap a pipe gun. I can do some of those. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Why did it... Register for advanced whatever training. Okay, well, we'll do that in a minute. Maybe we should go ahead and try to trigger the event. There's an event here at the Morgantown Airport that's like, uh, defend this area from waves of, um, uh, grumpers. The, that's what, uh, Tom from the Robots Radio Network calls them. That's what he calls Scorch. He calls them grumpers. There's a lot of a lot of actual good loot still left over because you got to think like um, when the scorch attacked, everyone just left in such a hurry that they literally had to like grab a bag and leave. Like they didn't have the ability or the wherewithal or the time to pack stuff up. They ran. They just they they ran and they ended up having to leave people behind. I'd like to think that the people who were here in the hospital tents, they sedated heavily. So if anything happened to them physically, they didn't feel it, which I'm sure things happen to them. We find chewed up bodies. Dangerous note. To the love of my life, Abby said we can use her bunker for whatever it is you want to plan for our anniversary. I know it's only been a few months. Okay, two months, three weeks, and four days, but I'm so excited. You've changed my life, DeAndre. I hope you know that. Love, Lydia. It'd be crazy if it was the same Lydia from um, Skyrim. The one who's sworn to carry your burdens. There's a lot of, of good stuff here. I'm kind of hoping that we get to see either Connor or Robbie or Eric or Matt today because they always ask about Daddy Joseph. They usually do so off camera though. They always ask how things are going. And I'm always like, well, he didn't beat me today. Right? You probably did. I don't say that. I don't. I'm just aggravating Joseph because I joked around for the longest time and be like, he beats me. And no one, no one believes that shit for a second. Everyone's like, yeah, right. He's do he doesn't beat you, but if he did, you probably did something to deserve that shit. And I'm like, these are my friends. Why are they taking up for him? So well. Do I know? Because they know you so well. It's my mouth. I have a mouth on me. And sometimes that's not always a good thing. I'm not trying to be funny, but sometimes it's not always a good thing. All right, psych about Olivia P. Henderson. There's a lot of loot. I'm going to end up being overburdened in a second if I'm not careful. What are these? Jarred Scorched Head. We're going to keep those. If for no other reason than they're just cool to look at. There we go. There, I've got like four or five of them now. Like, do, do I scrap them? Like, how does this work? All right, first things first, I need to find a workbench real quick and scrap all this stuff down for parts. There we go. There's some points right there. We're so close to um, hitting the next rank. We, If we're very lucky, you guys, because this is going to be a longer stream, um, we might be able to get to the next uh, season, which I believe is 26. Oh, here it comes. Where are you? I hear you. The fuck? Oh, there you are. Is he coming back? Is he? 
I've hit him a couple of times. No, he ran. Oh, I think I have to hit this thing first. Shit, that scared me. Yeah, here we go. This squash are approaching. Top priority message. Radar has spotted an inbound cargo bot. We've got to secure the landing oh, zone so we can make the drop. Gotcha. I forget how many waves it is. But I've discovered that being up here on the high ground is preferable. Oh, here they are. Friends! Oh, I'm out of bullets. Now, I know when I do this on my max level character, it's like a lot of Scorched. But I think it's, it, it like, it depends on how many, well, that one there's running. Did I scare him? Are you frightened? Okay, he's coming back now. I think it's because I'm on high ground. Sometimes that kind of glitches them if you stay up on the high ground too long. I do like this gun. It's gonna send down an, another wave of them, I think, just one more. And then after that, it should send a, um, a vertibot with like goodies. Who's shooting at me? Is there one more? I've actually done this event like on live servers with other people and it is it is fun I'm not gonna say it's not fun but you guys know how I feel about um oh shit you guys know how I feel about group content Oh, I see you, you little heffalump. More scorched. Okay, this should be the last wave. I really wish I could call them out more often. to do but it sure was fun I hate that little hissy sound they make I mean I have like one more wave of them coming or is it just on the way
I never see it until, oh, here it comes. There you are. Hi, friend. Now, I could actually, if I wanted to, and I was good enough, I could um, actually shoot the cargo bot down, but I'm just going to wait till he drops off my loots, my fat loots. Uh, let's burn some shit, too, while we're at it. I wonder if I could... Nope, I can't shoot the cargo bot. Nope, you can't shoot the cargo bot. Oh, well. What did I get? I heard the little thing say mission complete, but it didn't tell me what I got from it. Ooh, hot dogs. Hello. We love hot dogs. I'll even eat them off the ground. What the hell? Oh. Homemade wind Yeah, well, they're really more like a, an alarm. We learned a new recipe. And another new recipe. There we go. This was actually kind of worth it. I don't do this this event here very often. I actually tend to stay away from Morgantown, guys, because I've done pretty much everything there is to do in Morgantown. But, you know, it's fun every once in a while. There's no rules saying that we can't, you know, enjoy it every once in a while. It's like sometimes, you know, I don't feel like... Uh, being a responsible adult, and I'll have a beverage, you know, right? Yeah, we should we should, I wish we had, a, <laughs> I wish we had beverages. All we've got is Coca-Cola right now and tea. Uh, we still got a couple of shots in there. We do, we, yeah, we do have some, we do have some shots that we got from a, a wedding we went to recently. Um... I don't, I'm not going to do those on camera because I don't know what I'm going to do when I take that shot. Yeah. It's oh. it's pure liqueur, like like real alcohol. It's throw, it's moonshine, in fact. Throw the whole thing back now, don't get me wrong. I will have no problem taking the shot. Don't get me wrong. I have no problem taking the shot. Um, I don't drink very often, but I'm very capable of holding my liquor. It's this one back here, you guys, that tends to be more of a a, a, a dame. He does not hold his liquor well. He Well, I say that he doesn't get, like, fall down drunk or anything. He just, well, I was going to tell a lie and say he just goes to sleep. If he's here with me, he just goes to sleep. For some reason, if he's with friends, he knows he's fine. He just chills and hangs out and has a good time. But for some reason, it seems like every time I've been around him when he's been uh, under the sauce, shall we say, he always wants to fight. Feel him a little saucy. Saucy hell, he feels psychotic. Joseph likes to lay hands. It's just It's what? Butterscotch sauce. No, it's not. It's a, uh, you don't need to be getting drunk is what it is. To be fair, he never gets drunk. I've only seen Joseph I've never seen him, like, fall down drunk or anything. I've never seen Joseph like that. I have seen him... I just go to sleep. I don't fall down. Yeah, he's like, I just go to sleep. I don't fall down. Um, I have seen Joseph... Uh, a little wobbly. We'll say that. I've seen him a little wobbly before. I was angry, too, because... Well, I don't want to get into that on camera. <laughs> I don't want to get into that on camera. All right, so there's, I'm hearing a radio. Oh, wait. It's up here. Please hurry. There's not much time. Message for Ricky. Oh! Melody Larkin, dispatch. All right. How do I turn this off? I can't turn that off. Huh. 
Aha. I can't turn off that radio. Oh, hello. I'm gonna have to take some rad away in a minute because I'm really like, I'm apparently some odd feet away from something. I think, uh, oh Lord Jesus, I don't like seeing those chewed up bodies. That That's probably the one thing that really grosses me out. I think we're gonna go into the airport. I gotta find a viable door because that's boarded up. Also, I think I need my gun because I believe there's still a few walking uh, sunburns running around out here. Oh, yep. There's one down there. I see it. Oh. Bitch. There's really a lot going on in this little area here. Oh, I love running through blood. <laughs> Don't you guys love running through blood? Running through running through fields of poppies is overrated. You haven't lived till you've run through blood. Oh my god, running through poppies? That's so 2008. Or should I say 2000 and late. There are just... You can see the remain, Like, the remains. The, uh... You can see the, uh... The bodies. You can see, like, what... Like, the remnants of what went on. Ooh, a crystal liquor decanter. I'll take it. Like, sure, I'll do it. I believe this will take me, yeah, it'll take me straight into Morgantown, which we're not interested in. We're more interested in this dude. Gotcha. I just want to see if I can get him out. Oh, where did he go? Oh, hi, friend. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Every time I say that like that, I keep thinking of that meme of uh, Chappelle where he pops up. He's like, gotcha, bitch. Also, if you can, always investigate these tank things, because usually inside them, they have a little something for you, but this one doesn't, apparently. Make me a liar, then. Fine. Screw you, too. Alright, I've got to find a, um, a workbench or something. I've got to. I need a workbench. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> About left my body. Alright, we're going to... We're going to go in here and see what, what's in here. Are you getting sleepy over there? No, I'm just watching. Oh, okay. That's now, okay. You guys know Wednesday, sometimes it's a long stream, sometimes it's not. I don't expect uh, Joseph to sit here for the whole thing. Um, he might leave and come back later. It just depends. Hell, I might leave and come back later. I might let Hoppy play the game for a little bit. Um, let him narrate. Oh, the Mothman Museum. See? The Mothman. Watch Liz in West Virginia. Traditional values for untraditional times. Garahan Mining. Um, a, a, I almost said Alapaha. It's Appalachia's <laughs> most trusted mining company. I don't know why I almost said Alapaha. I went, I, will, I went, a la, a la, a la, like, my brain just stopped working. Like, completely stopped working for a minute there. There is a vertebrate crashed into the ceiling. Also, there shall be some more people. 
somewhere there shall be more people. Oh, I just know there's going to be a Nuka Cola in here. Yes, a Nuka Cherry. So, Maria Chavez, her message is still repeating. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a situation like a, 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 an interior cell in the game it, or in the next game where like you went into a place that had been overrun by scorched right and then as you're like looking around they just keep coming in waves I, I don't know which way to go I think I'm going to go this way because whatever it is I'm after is like in that direction We got a body here. Oh, before I do anything else, guys, I need to take a rat away. And we'll go ahead and use some stem packs too while we're at it. Got a note here battle plan. Establish fronts at baggage claim, arrivals, and gates. Find anything solid and begin barricading. Baggage claim should pull back to utility. Hold out there as long as you can before regrouping at arrivals. Arrivals retreat point is security. Get everyone in and lock the gate behind you. If all else fails, everyone falls back to command. So these guys actually had a plan of action for what they were dealing with, which was just waves and waves of scorched coming at them. this thing um, reloads. I really do. The reload is tight on this gun. I've never been much of a, like a gun nut, but this is nice. Someone else is in here, though. I don't know which... which oh, let's shut that door. <laughs> let's just shut that door. They can't find me if they can't see me. I say that as I fling bodies around with the damn door. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> I don't like this! And this is very like House of Horrors right now. This is like Freddy's House of Fears. I don't like this. I'm gonna hide. I could never play Among Us because this is too much for me. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Why don't we, uh, uh, why don't we just ignore, walk away, and namaste? How about that? Damn it, I'm out of bullets. I should have known. Bitch, how can I not see you? Bitch. Wait, who the hell? They're coming from somewhere. We're gonna find it. We're gonna plug that hole. I'm not even trying to be funny. Also, there's a radio somewhere that's playing, and I just... Oh, we got a dead body here. Hello. Okay, we've got this over here. And then we've got this door. Um... A 
right, we're gonna close this door. And I can't close that door. We've got a door here. There's a radio nearby. I'm trying to like stay away from it because I don't want to get like in trouble. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pick the lock on this door because if I if I if I try that terminal and I get locked out, I'm just locked out. Why the fuck is this? Oh, here we go. Okay, they can't get to me. Where the fuck is the radio, though, I'm hearing? Yeah, it gets louder and louder as I get to it. Oh, there it is. Jeez. I'm like, please don't get me in trouble. I do not want to get DMCA. This is, I guess, like claims. There's lots of stuff in here, that's for sure. I need <laughs> another workbench. Oh, hello. And you know what? Well, let's go ahead and scrap some shit real quick. I'm just gonna scrap all of these. I'm not even worried about making money. I'm gonna keep that one, just in case. Ooh, we got some more points. We have, we've hit a new season. I don't even care about hunting rifles. I have a machine gun. These are all messed up too. Good lord. Okay, we got our weight under 300. That's good, that's good, that's good. And that was just on weapons. That's not even like, um, there's an arrow under there. I don't care about arrows. That's not even, um, what you call it, uh, armor or anything. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Hit the wrong button. Okay, I don't need to. Out of bullets. Okay. None close by now. Okay, that worked. Lord, I was not prepared for that. Also, when I say there's none close by, there's really like none close by because my sneak meter's not even moving hardly. Um, also, I've I said it once when I first started streaming, but if my new is just now logging in, if my stream is really laggy and choppy, please let me know. I'm ac I accidentally left my VPN running, and <laughs> streaming with your VPN running is not ideal. So just let me know, and I'll turn it off. Now, if I do turn off my VPN, guys, it'll turn into a situation of um, my stream will restart. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, oh, I went through a metal detector. <laughs> I didn't know what that sound was. I, heard it. I didn't know what that sound was. I was like, what did I just do? I was like, there are no protectrons in here. There's no assaultrons. There's no iBots. Nothing. Oh, this worries me. There's gonna be someone in here trying to use the bathroom and I'm gonna piss them off. That's rat poison, isn't it? I always know the rat poison bottles. I, I, I just, I, I like the way it tastes, it's spicy. No, I'm just joking. I'm not endorsing eating poison, guys. I'm not.
I hear him walking around, whatever it is, whoever he is, wherever he is. Well, you know what? Let's shut the door. There's no door here. Damn it. Oh, a capacitor. Hello. Joseph, do you have any questions about the game? No, I just like the watch. He never asks questions. Every once in a while, some shit will happen and that I'll point out to him and he'll be like, yeah, I saw that. But I can tell he's really not, like, interested. That's a level 10. I don't actually need one with armor value. It's a lot harder to get the, um, the, the pieces of apparel to give you mods. Oh, I need to... So this is the basement that we just came from. I'm just double checking. I hear something walking around. And I am close to... Whoever or whatever. We can't go through here. Uh-oh. Security key card. Okay. Okay, I just found a key card on that body. We're going to need that. All right, let's go back up here. There's actually still places um, even higher up that I haven't been to yet. waste. I'll take that. I know how to properly dispose of it. Um, uh, I feel like I don't really know which way to go. Oh, I'm out of drinkies. Okay. We can fix that. It's because I took all that rat away. There we go. There is something or someone close by. Did we go down here? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I'm close to something. I'm just not finding it. Oh, I think it's on the other side of this barricade here. Okay. They can stay over there. So it looks like the only way is, see there's a whole other floor up here that I'm not far from actually. I believe I've got like one more like gamut to run, one more gauntlet. Okay, so what's over here? Oh, we've got a door here, hello. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that one. That was reflex, guys. I'm sorry. They got a little jail cell here. This is their security area. Now, here's the thing about Scorched, you guys. They are... Tr they try to kill everything they come across. Unless... It's already infected. If someone is infected with the, uh, the Scorched Plague closet note, be quiet. They don't know we're in here. Are we all that's left? Oh, they're writing down so they don't have to actually speak. Okay. Oh, that's sad. I didn't like that. But where's the other person that was in here with them? I guess... They either killed them or infected them. If they infect you, they immediately become non-hostile. Wouldn't it be cool? Oh, I just thought of something. You know how, like, in, in some of the Fallout games, there's a ghoul mask, and if you, if you put the mask on, all ghouls are no longer hostile towards you? What if you could get a scorched mask? That would be so cool. You could walk around in the scorched and not be bothered. That'd be interesting. I would be down for that. That would be so cool. Is there a, yes, okay. 
I'm gonna shut this so they can't come in here with me. Oh, dearie me, oh my. Oh, I'm out of bullets! I'm out of bullets! What the fuck? Is that it? Is that all of them? Something went boom. Boom, boom, for real. Oh, I got myself my first legendary. Mission to Abigail. Tammy, I know the mountains are dangerous right now, but we need to get a report from the Free States. The farmers are in a bad way, worried about that broadcast from the Brotherhood of Steel. So find someone that can get to Abigail's bunker up past the Red Rocket Mega Stop. That's way up there. Ask her the following. Defiance, is that Brotherhood headquarters right? Are the Brotherhood okay? What's coming for us? Is everything okay over there? I know the Brotherhood hasn't made any friends lately, but the whole thing is very disturbing. Maria. So Maria Chavez, she's really like, she's like one of the big wigs. She's in every letter, she's in every report, she's in every holotape. Damn, there are like, just, this is odd. I didn't think that Scorched ate people. I thought they just killed them or infected them. But we're finding a lot of like, people who have been chewed up. Also, you guys are going to laugh at me, but that always makes me think of the meme um, of that old lady who's like, I don't know what's been chewing on me, but I'm eat up. Like, every time I, I, I talk about that, it makes me laugh. Anytime someone mentions chewing or eating at work, I'm all, I'll just stop what I'm doing and be like, I don't know what's been chewing on me, but I'm eat up. Oh, my God. They probably think you are eat up. Oh, no. Not this alabaster perfection. No, no, no. Okay, so we've got two doors here. What's... There's a guy laying there, and then there's a terminal here that I've apparently shot, so... Oh, you can actually go up in the vertebrate. Hello. Anything else in here worth grabbing? I'm surprised that Brotherhood of Steel hasn't shown up at the Morgantown Airport by now. I feel like blue. I almost said Blizzard. Not that's bad. that's World of Warcraft. I almost said Blizzard. Oh my God, I'm stupid. I'm not going in here. I feel like that's a setup. All right, there was a door over here though. Um, I meant to say Bethesda. I've gotten so good at telling their stories when they do their expansions and whatnot. But I feel like. They could do a, a quest or a mission that, like... Man, there are bodies everywhere in here. Um, I feel like they could have done something like... Um, after you do certain missions, like, the world dynamically changes, and you could come to the Morgantown Airport, and now either the Brotherhood of Steel or the um, responders could come back, like the new responders. That's what they should be called, the new responders. Let's, uh, let's go talk to old dude real quick. He's not up. What time is it in the game? Well, while he sleeps, I'll steal everything that's not nailed down to the floor. How about that? Right Where's the... the... I don't mean it ugly, but where the hell... Please, hurry. Can I turn this damn thing off? messages? Uh, no. 15J. Dispense rations. Hello. I got purified water and Instamash. You know what? Let's shut this door just in case the Scorch come back. Where's the 
freaking radio that's playing this shit. Oh, wait, there's the radio right there. I can't turn it off. Oh, this sucks. Oh, there's an elevator, a working elevator? Oh, that, that's awesome. That's really awesome. I'm just grabbing all the holotapes. If we need to listen to them later, we will. When we get out of here, all the um, bad guys will have respawned outside. So we'll have to kill those guys again. This old man, he gonna have to leave because I'm taking all his shit. He gonna have nothing to live on. About this door. Maria, shut up. I just thought it'd be worth a shot to actually shoot the thing. All right, let's grab all of this stuff and the Morgantown Overseer's Log. Overseer's Log, Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I've walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. But they kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. We still don't know what it what it is. Reverse. You good? It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this, but we need to consider all our options. Even the nukes. The nukes. We find the source of this scorched plague. Wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. Uh, vaccine. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the overseer. Signing off. All right, I'm so tired of that damn. I don't actually have to talk to Dontrell Haynes. It's not telling me to talk to him, so we're just gonna like. We're oh wait oh 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 hello. How about this? I'm. Wait, did I go? I think I went through the entire, uh, the entirety of this place. I'm, I'm almost positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been through, we've been everywhere. All right, so we got to go back outside. Okay. We have to go to the, um, high school, but first we've got to register for advanced responder training because we haven't done that yet. And that's literally right here where we're at, basically. So we've gotten a good bit done, actually, since we logged in. I'm really proud of this. We've hit several of our scoreboard milestones. We've cleaned out the outside and inside of the Morgantown Airport. We fought off an entire army of Scorched and got our event prize. We got some lore. 
We found another overseer tape. I mean, we've done pretty good so far. We've done pretty good so far. I'm kind of proud of this. All right. It says I'm inside the objective location, but I'm going to sneak a tape. Now, it's entirely possible that we got through that so fast that nothing's respawned. But I doubt it. I just want to say that. I want to go on record saying that I don't think we made it this far without selling something. Also. Oh, my turret's been attacked by something. Okay, well, we can fix that. There's the freaking smoke from that thing that we, we spawned in a minute ago. It's... There we go. That turret right there, the reason why I repaired it a second time is because if you are, um, I wonder if I can run and jump over there. I think I can actually. Oh, I made it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, mines, hello. I don't use these at all, like I don't use them at all, but what I do do is um, sell them for Munty. Wouldn't it be crazy is if like there was like a living person up here? Oh, oh, what is up, Eric? I'm glad you made it. I was literally telling everybody earlier that I really hope that uh, you hopped in and said hello. You said doo-doo. The Dutra. Yeah, Joseph says Dutra. Do you want to say hello to Daddy Joseph, Eric? He says, hi there and hey there, Daddy Joseph. How you doing? Hey, Eric. Good. How are you? Eric is going to make some comment like, ooh, I'm going to clutch my pearls. I just know it. He always does that whenever he gets to see Daddy Joseph. I'm actually proud of Joseph because he normally doesn't spend quite so much time watching me. Um, normally he either gets on his phone or falls asleep in that chair. And then I have to get, I always get up as soon as he falls asleep and I take him into the, the, the bedroom out right there because if I don't, sleeping in that chair makes your body hurt. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, is it your legs? Back. It makes my legs, my, my back always hurts. Um, he has great legs, doesn't he? Uh, Eric just said, those legs, though. He has really nice legs. He's got very big legs. I like a guy with thick legs. Alright, so now we have to train. We've set up this terminal as a resource for volunteers who's covered the basics to continue their training. If this interests you, please check below to see what advanced trainings are available. Perks of growing your skill set include extra ration tickets, the ability to help others and yourself, and a free hat while supplies last. Well, yeah, I have the... What's funny is, I've got white shorts on today, and honestly, they're a little, they're, they're a little bit lighter than my skin, but not by much. Not by much. Neither one of us get to see the sun that much. Now, I think it was two years ago you were in outside? At his job, he was he spent a lot of time outdoors, and he got dark. I mean, dark. That's things. only for virgins. Uh, well, I've I've um, I have been bathed in I'm bathed in his blood, white as snow. <laughs> I know you'll get that reference. View available training. Building camps. If volunteers are able to construct portable camps for incoming survivors, then responders are free to focus on their urgent medical needs. Responder Miguel Caldera provides new volunteers with materials used to fortify camps, as well as additional safety tips. Report to his campsite outside of the airport for supplies and hands-on training. Whose birthday are it? Nope. <laughs> this is what me and Eric do. We just quote Trixie and Katya. Joseph does too sometimes. His is what you, you usually you do what? Give me. Uh, 
Oh, camping. It is. Camping. Yes, God. Let's make it a thing. You did that a lot for a while. And he also does. We're having weather. Oh, yeah. I do that one more. Especially All right. So now we're headed to Miguel's camp, which I believe is... Um, actually, first we have to learn about the inoculation project, which is up here. I believe. Yes. Inoculation project announcement. Folks, I've got some exciting news to share. As you all know, Dr. Hudson has been continuing her research in the lab at ABR Medical. Well, she just reported in to let us know that she's made a significant breakthrough, and it looks like an inoculation against the scorched plague could soon become a reality. Let's all keep our fingers crossed and make sure to do everything we can to help Claire complete her work. Our very survival depends on it. That's that's the thing, like, uh, I don't care about the rest of that. Um, so now we have to study her research, which is going to be at AVR Medical, which we will get to AVR Medical, but in the meantime, we've got to get to... a side quest. Why? Wait. We're not worried about that. We do want that. So I have to listen to... Oh, I got myself a legendary. Plus 50% armor penetration? Okay. We like that. Okay, so I have to listen to a holotape first. Volunteer, oh, here it is. Volunteer training. Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced training. Camping. By Miguel Cadena. Robot Programmer Extraordinaire. Part one. Finding the perfect camp. He sounds cute. Now that the world has changed, it's hard to stay safe. It used to be the camping was safe as houses. <laughs> well, until there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. Perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back or build things that will watch your back for you. No problem. Anyone can do it. Remember, camps are mobile. We're all explorers now, camping in a strange land full of adventure, wonder, and danger. In danger. So, camp often and rest a lot. Before the war, I was going to retire and go camping. Now I can do it every day, forever. It's a dream come true. Do what you love, right? Now come to my camp, not to frame a picnic. Then, I'll direct you on to some helpful supplies. Good luck, volunteer. I see you. Oh, there's another one somewhere. They're freaking everywhere. Oh, hi, friend. Oh, God, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I was not ready at all. I was so not ready for that. No, what I was going to say is, um, okay, I, I may have said this on camera to you guys before. Uh, I have this thing called phantasmia. Oh, I thought you heard something. No, I'm smelling something. Okay, phantasmia is this thing where, like, uh, certain things uh, that smell one way to everyone else, smell a different way to me. And also, sometimes I get what's called phantom smells, which is the name Phantasmia. Um, I was sitting here playing the game, and as I moved from uh, the gated area to, like, right about here, I kept catching a whiff of, like, this this cologne or for, or for some reason. What's weird is, like, um, you only... 
it's my peripheral smelling, if that makes sense. Like, if I'm not paying attention, I'll catch a whiff, and as soon as I turn my attention to it, it's gone. It goes away, yeah. That's how you know it's fake. Well, <sighs> thanks. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have a, I have a time with it. Um, and there's also a subsect of that that I found out recently about that I have, and I've had it my whole life, but I didn't know it was called. It's called parosmia, which is the intense dislike for the smell of certain things. Mine, it, it's, it's very, it's very normal for people to not like the smell of oranges. I hate the smell of oranges. Joseph knows this about me. I don't like necessarily love the smell of them. I like to eat. I don't like the way they smell. They have like this, it's weird like, um, I love the taste of oranges and orange juice and orange flavored sodas, but I don't like the smell of like orange peels. When you're peeling them, it just makes me want to retch, makes me want to gag. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. And so, yeah. I think I was the one that eager looked that up and, and showed it to you or shared it to you. You, you, wow. you were the one that, that explained to me about the phantosmia. I found out yesterday yeah, about the parosmia yeah. that was eye-opening because i didn't know what you were talking about a lot of times you would come in from like work or something and i'd be here and you'd be like who's been in here and i'm like what are you talking about and you're like i smell cologne and i'm like i don't smell any cologne what are you talking about i would about? literally get up and like hug him in the in the pretense of hugging him but i was smell really like smelling somebody. him yeah you'd be like you smell like somebody somebody's been around here somebody's been how many times have I, been, have I been on camera, guys, and I've been like, oh, he's making coffee downstairs. I smell it, but it smells like tuna fish. For some reason, what's weird is like, um, when I'm not paying attention and I just catch a whiff of it, it comes across to me as tuna fish. But then if I turn my attention to it and, and like smell like, oh, it's just coffee. Um, sometimes also it smells like blueberries. Um, it actually smell like tuna. I probably wouldn't be drinking it. Yeah. I don't like the smell of tuna. I don't hate the smell of tuna. I, um, I'm just not a big tuna fan. I like I like tuna salad, but I don't like tuna casserole. Like Joseph loves tuna casserole. Yeah, you don't like it cooked hot. I don't like it cooked hot. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't like it cooked hot. I like... I like I, and I, I, the little single pouches of tuna that you can just eat like in a couple of bites. I really love those. I eat those at least two, three times a month at my day job. Um, all right, so let's investigate One here. One day they'll rebuild this good world. His and I'll be here to see it. Ah, 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 ah. I can't see it. <laughs> I don't have eyes. This poor robot's name is Mr. Fluffy. Oh, there's Miguel. He's dead. This makes me sad. <laughs> Camping syllabus. Find a safe spot. Be sure to look for fresh animal or human droppings nearby. Remember, if you find a doo-doo, better shoo-shoo. I gotta say that at work. I gotta say that at work. If you find a doo-doo, better shoo-shoo. I have a sock on that in shoo-shoo, so you can buy <laughs> Shut up. Use recycled materials to construct your tent. You can find scraps just about anywhere. Why have a camp, cooking stations, even your own stash? What is he doing? Just laughing? No, he's humming. Oh, that's a hum. Students should check in with any local responder and build a camp. In the camp, volunteers should construct a simple cooking station and a stash box and demonstrate that knowledge to the local responder. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to cook something and then show it to Mr. Robot here. Let's talk to Mr. Fluffy. You know, I've been tethered to Miguel for years. Years standing here with his rotten corpse. And you know what? I hate camping. <laughs> Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the airport and a camp program holotape find them and return I just here. came from down there God bless okay first of all I've got a few hollow tape or notes that I need to I wish that damn robot would shut up 
I got a whole bunch of recipes and plans I need to learn real quick. Alright, so I just came from the airport. I didn't want to have to go back. I just know the damn uh, extra crispy guys are, are respawning. I wonder if that box has respawned stuff in it. I'm gonna go look. No. It's just, it just does it to let everyone know that it's there. Alright, so let's go. I hope I don't have to go back into that damn um, airport. That's gonna piss me off. I think it's in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, we got a holotape here. And then here's his terminal. Oh, I hope this isn't his boyfriend right here. Eating alive. Oh, that's awful. All right. Uh, schematics. Great. I'm going to be attacked now. Bit oh, look, bitch. Jesus. Everybody. Everybody scram now. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I hit a button and my, my game just minimized. God. Okay. <laughs> I brought up like a file. <laughs> like I went into like my uh, file explorer. Oh my God. That scared me so bad. I just hit a button with my hand. <laughs> oh, somebody should clip that. Oh my God. That got me so good. Okay. So now I got to take the holotape back to Mr. Fluffy. came at me. Uh, pro tip in your lower levels, pick all the flowers. Pick all the flowers because you can turn them into teas. You can just eat them outright. Um, well, that's in real life. Um, I believe you can... You know what? I'll, you know what? I, you know what else? I, I don't believe that there's a just regular salad recipe that you make from, like, the plants that you loot. There's all these, like, special teas that you can make and whatnot. All these kind of drinks and soups. But no salad. But now that everything is destroyed, it's quite literally... Now, for everyone living the dream, right, Miguel? If your can doesn't have all the necessities, consider using irradiated garbage to add that special touch. Demonstrate your can expertise and build a generator. Okay. Our electric devices such as lights. Remember to connect the devices with a wire. Oh, please shut up, Mr. Robert. Okay, so I'm not moving my camp because um, you guys have, you should have followed your no idea how hard it is to look to a uh, to set my uh, foundations and line them up properly with the bridge that I built under. So we're going to go to my actual camp and build a generator there. That's all I can say. You good back there? Any thoughts? Any ideas? Any Anything at all? 
Okay, Michael Jackson. Oh shit. He's trying to heal the world back here, y'all. Oh shit, this guy sees me. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Hello. That was a bend and snap. It was mostly just snap. Okay. We are now sneaking again. Okay. I'm waiting for my, my damn turrets to just start shooting shit. I'm, I don't care if my turrets start attacking. Oh, I see you. You know, I believe I have. I might be wrong. This does 138 damage. Who doesn't want to use... Oh, hello. I'll get this guy first. It's like a freaking cannon, dude. It's a blunderbuss. A blunderbuss. You can kiss my blunderbussy. How about that? I was thinking. Jesus! We can say it. According to your mother, Michaela's heard everything and worse. So, if we want to say that, we can say that. We can say that. It's fine. I I don't normally like these kinds of weapons because they don't. I, I feel like they they're too extra. But that being said. I wanted to see if, like, when I shot somebody with it, it would just blow them up. Uh, wait. Oh, it's number two. My bad. Um, I need a drinky. I'm, it seems like I'm always running out of, out of, uh, something to drink. Oh, also, I want to switch back to that, that gun, because I want to use it on this freaking Myron. Oh, he's dead. I thought he was going to jump out of the ground. Oh, there he is. That was actually kind of cool. That was actually so cool. Um, all right, so we have to make a generator at my camp. There was no... Uh, he didn't say that I had to move my camp. He just said that I had to build a generator. Now, I've already got these bad boys providing plenty of power. But there's no rules saying I can't just build a generator and then scrap it. Right? Also, who is that lady? Settler Wander. Oh, I forgot, you guys. I'm supposed to be building her chair here at my camp. I completely forgot. Completely forgot. So sorry. All right, so, um, first things first. Get myself in a safe area. Also, don't I have any more? I don't have any more magazines. I thought I did. My bad. I don't know what the hell it is, honestly. It's like one of those corpse plants. It does look like a corpse plant, doesn't it? It's, fr it's from the Cranberry Bog, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so... I need... A million dollars. No, I need to build a generator. So... I might just build one upstairs, on top of the bridge. Because I don't want to build it, like, in my actual camp. So, let's go upstairs real quick. All right, yeah. All right, we'll just build something here on the actual, um, wait, what do I do? Oh, it's been a minute since I built anything. Okay, so generators. 
There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna build this little one, cause, oh, I like that. Oh, neato, it's a, it looks like a real utility box. That's cute. I didn't even know I had this, honestly. All right, well, we're just gonna put this like, Okay. So wait, was that it? Apparently that was it. It says, check on the responder supply caches around Morgantown Airport. Okay, so now we got a travail back up there. All right, so I think what we'll do is just travel. We love to travel, and I'm sure we'll have to fight more grumpers. <sighs> I'm so excited. Don't get mad. I'm allowed to be happy about this. I'm excited to have tomorrow off, guys, because this week... Let me tell you about my week without really revealing too much about my job. Um... There's an epidemic going on um, at my day job right now. It's been going... Now, I had it a couple weeks ago. You guys remember, I missed, like, basically a whole week worth of streaming. Um, and I wasn't happy about that. But again, I, I, I don't feel bad, bad about it because it doesn't matter who you are, what you're going through when it comes to your job or streaming or relationships or whatever. Your health comes first. It's got to come first. All right, so we're looking for a supply cache. View available training. Patrol supplies says you may run into hostels though so be alert I'm the hostile one okay why is it wait 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 it keeps not tracking it I'm actually not gonna track that one it's okay we have to, oh we have to listen to so it doesn't track side quests is what it is this is my main quest and then this is my side quest you know like wife or husband and side piece. Oh, I have to listen to the holotape. Doi. That was camping. Wait, which one do I have to listen to? Oh, training. Patrol. There it is. Patrol. Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced Training. Secure the Supplies. By Kesha McDermott. Volunteer responders, like you, must help stock our supplies regularly. If any of our caches are depleted, well, we will run into a heap of trouble. Maybe, maybe not. Since this is your first time on patrol, I will walk you through it. First, head to the triage center. This exercise will take you around the primary Morgantown airport. Now, you will want to restock these caches regularly. Restock them. I have to put stuff in there? Oh, no, no, no. Good work, volunteer. The triage center sees the heaviest of casualties, so the supplies here are probably always running low. Not my problem. Restock, then head out to the tarmac. Responder Rocky set up in the processing camp in a cargo container. Hey, you are doing good work, volunteer. I know it's tough to walk through the wounded and just restock shelves, but we need you to do this. Other responders will take care of them. We need people to depend on. If we're all safe, then we can rebuild anything. The world isn't destroyed, you know. It just needs our help. Anyway... The next supply cache has a key, but you will need to pick it up from Responder Rocky. Just tell him that Kesha has you doing patrols. Now start 
getting over to the medical center. You want to keep your patrols pretty quick so the responder database doesn't lock you out. We use the processing center to hold food and drink supplies for any new survivors brought back for triage. So, it's real important to keep stocked. It's been such chaos keeping things well stocked. Since the scorched... Well, since the bombs... Seems like forever now. Like I used to tell my students, things are always a different kind of tough, and so are you. You only need to be tough enough to make it. But the addendum is, you also need to have resources and support to make it, and nobody can make it entirely alone. Okay? Now, go on to the clinic. While you're here, ask the doctors if they have any special supply requests. After that, head over to the control tower for your last stop. Okay. As you can clearly see, we need to constantly restock all of these supplies to keep our heads above water. And there's just no signs of it getting any quieter anytime soon. The control tower is on the tarmac, and it's your final patrol stop. I am so glad we established a volunteer program. We've gotten many good responder volunteers this way. Dasa does good work in flatwoods. Just get rid of all of this shit. We don't need any of this. hit rank 24. We're getting through these. I think I might make a new tune every time there's a new season because just going through the quest is really like, seriously like leveling me through the, the different uh, ranks. I might keep that one. So we've hit 25, not 24. We hit 25. And the turret is still awake. I keep forgetting we have to go inside the tower. I'll tell you what, since I, um, use that nose strip. My nose is just itching. I hope I'm not having a reaction to the glue. Uh, mine always does that afterwards. I feel like it's the stuff that pulls out of it or something. Oh. Uh, maybe the holes or glues are back up or something. Okay. Uh, mine always itches really bad. Wait, look up resources requests. Not it. Messages. Radar monitoring. Patrol bulletin. Oh, resource requests. Dasa requests a dozen new weapons and as many stim packs. Rocky needs additional food for the processing center. Miguel Cadera is requesting a new Protectron again. Soil sampling kit. Listen to Patrol 5 Control Tower. But where is it? Wait, is it in my bag? in my bag. Oh, it is. My bad. That wasn't so hard, right? Miguel has programmed some of the bots to restock these supply caches, but nowhere near the rate that we need. 
I have a feeling we're gonna have to go do another so, event. The goal is that we pull in volunteers to do at least one patrol for formal advanced training. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. When you log into the responder database, you'll be able to look up additional caches. Thank you for your service, volunteer. And remember, helping others will help yourself. True. think there's anything else in here for me is there no training available okay and we got another legendary all right so now we've got to start working on finding the next um thingy the next uh oh wait there's some stuff over here how did i miss all this the next uh overseer to holotape I love blowing shit up. I do. I don't know why. It, that's about the most manly thing that I do is just try to blow stuff up. All right, let's see. How do we get across? There is a bridge somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, the bridge is right there. Boop. Going the wrong way. I didn't see you there. Does this gate, I mean, the gate, does this door work? It does. Oh. He ran away from me. They don't normally do that, do they? He's shooting at me from somewhere. Wait. I feel like there will be more. being distracted. Don't you guys love being distracted? Especially when I'm trying to commit chaos, confusion, madness, and drama. <gasps> oh, hi, friend. Bitch. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to grab my... Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, bitch, that's unnecessary. Not my guts. When I... <laughs> what'd you, just, what'd you say? <laughs> yes, uh, it's probably gonna be a stinky necklace. Your guts, and in, in, that includes your colon. Chitlins. Chitlins! Human chitlins, y'all! I probably sounded so country just now. 
I really need to get a, um, combat rifle. That's what I was trying to come up with. I, I ooh, L, oh shit. This is gonna be interesting. Wait, did I really just... I did really just... Okay. How about that? I like them apples. Alright, so... I think what I'm going to do, guys, is loot the red rocket, first of all. Even if it's just a plastic spoon. I'm going to park my survival tent... So I can drop off a bunch of stuff and then I'm gonna pause the stream for a second so I can run to the potty because I'm starting to squirm a little bit my my bladder is like screaming at me like remember me bitch I need my scrap boxes. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I'm going to keep that. And I really need to sell all this crap in my bag. I, I need to find a vendor. What's crazy is I was at uh, the Morgan tr Morgantown train station and I decided that I could go ahead and just do my quests. There we go. All right, I'm gonna pause the stream for a second, guys, and run to the potty. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, I've got to pee. Talk amongst yourselves. but we're almost out. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Ocean Splash. I paid attention this time. It smells so pretty. I always want to be like, oh, I don't know what it is, but I've remembered this time to look at it. I know you like ocean stuff. I do. I like, I like light scents. Okay, so. Morgan Town High School. Also, let me go ahead and, before we get over there, let me go ahead and eat and drink some stuff real quick. I need to get better about eating the stuff in my bags that's close to expiring so I can get rid of it. to find a drinky or a soup. I don't see anything, really. I guess we'll just do a purified water. 
Now we're good to go. Okay. There will be scorched, or as I like to call them, the well done folks. Ooh, 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 please don't look at me. Well, his head landed on the ground, so I should... Oh, hello. Got him. Unfortunately, I've just alerted others to where I'm at. Okay, well, I filled my crit meter. I heard it. Oh, I see another one over there. We'll come back to that one. I want to see if I can still loot this one's head over here. Just looking. You know, I said this was going to be a longer stream, but I'm lagging now. <laughs> I've been up since 2 a.m., guys. I don't think I'm going to immediately go to bed, but I, th I think we might end this soon. I think we might end this before we go into the airport. I'm, I'm sorry, not the airport, the high school is what I meant to say. What dust do you think? You see how well he supports me, you guys? Joseph is so awesome. I brag on him a lot, but you guys see, like, it's legit. Like, I have, like, every reason to brag on him. He's very kind, and, like, no matter what I do, I remember when I was, like, before I started streaming, I was just toying with the idea of it. And he was like, if that's what you want to do, do it. You like video games, that's right up your alley. I didn't have to like be like, hey, I'm thinking about doing something, or should I? He was immediately like, do what makes you happy. Yeah. That's the kind of positivity and positive reinforcement that everyone deserves and needs. I'm close to something because my sneak meter is just going off. There you are. Also, I thought of something earlier. These tanks that are everywhere, you know, the ones that are closed up, wouldn't it be cool if, like, you could unlock the back door and go in there and, like, loot stuff? Just a thought I had. Just a thought. I see the toy car. Why is it when you're running around in an area that's full of enemies, you always run across children's toys? I've never understood that. All right, we're going to run around the perimeter of the building for a minute. Just to double check. Dangerously potent beverage. We'll do that on our next um, stream because that one's going to be an interesting one. I remember, I remember that. All right, we got a door here. So I found three doors so far that go into Morgantown High School. I think I built a camp back here uh, once on my my main tune. I think I did. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I'm on, no. I think it was on top of the high school. I think it was on top of the high school. Is what it was. You could make like a little micro camp here, put some turrets out through here. There's enough little area right here for like a garden or something. You could build a little something. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna run back up to our little survival tent real quick and park it for the day, guys. Did my shit freeze up? Like, what just happened? Okay. 
it just like froze up for a second. I want to be like Zorg from the Fifth Element, be like, I am very disappointed. All right, so this is where we're gonna leave it, I think. We're gonna run our mouths for a couple of minutes and then end it, I think. Cause I am, A, I'm lagging and B, um, it's been a great stream. We got so much done today. Oh my gosh. All right, let's check our dailies and weeklies. What do we got? Eat a cake, pie or candy. We can do that real quick. And weekly, what was our weekly? Uh, craft any flare at a tinker's workbench. I could do that real quick. I've literally got a, a tinker's workbench with us. Consume any chems. Oh, oh, let's do this, you guys. Chems and flare. Okay, we've got we've got plenty of chems. Let's take a Radaway right diluted, a stem pack diluted. That's two. Let's do a healing salve. Oh, I'm already at full health. Never mind. Disease cure? Okay. Antibiotics and a blood pack. No, that's 10 rats. I don't like that. Well, we got that. Um, and then craft. We have to craft, I think, what was it? Five flares or three flares? It's going to be under souvenirs. Brick house. I do like the Brotherhood of Steel. I don't like that. De de decapitated doll head flare. Ugh. Giant sheep squatch plushie. Okay, it has to be a flare. Mr. Fuzzy. I I'll make that one. Yeah, we'll make that one. We'll do the Brotherhood of Steel flare. And platinum backpack flare. Red rocket flare. We'll make that. That it was three. Alright, so we hit twenty-five. Yes, we're at twenty-five now. And halfway to 26. What else can we do real quick before we log out? The I forget how easy some of these are. Kill a Mirelurk? Oh, you know what? If I go back to my camp, there's probably at least three more I could kill. I'm trying to think of where I could find more. Uh, collect a garden gnome. Sell Yaogwai ribs to an NPC vendor. I don't think I have any Yaogwai in my bag. Let's look real quick. I don't think I do. I don't. Unfortunately. So, why don't we travel back to our... Where the hell? Uh, uh, Morgantown. Where the... F Oh, we're at Morgantown. No, not Morgantown. Our camp. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I got lost for a second. Oh, not rename. We're going to go back there and go up the creek bed where we were and see if we can't kill a couple of more um, Mirelurks. I really hope we can find several more. I'd like to get that one out of the way as well. Making sure the bad guys haven't respawned. Hasn't been long since we killed them. Yeah, that Mirelurk hasn't respawned yet, but there's more down at the other end of the creek. And I think there's some in a house as well here, so I think we can get this one done. 
I think we need to switch to our machine gun, though. Just seeing what else we've got. Somerset Special. Yeah, I think we're going to switch back to that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha, bitch. Any more? I literally came up on them without even realizing they were there. Alright, that's two. How many do we have to kill? How many? How many? How many? Oh, just two more. I just need two more. I believe there are some in this house. In the basement? There's supposed to be Meyer lurks in this house. Or is that like a level thing? Where like, they only show up if you're a certain level. You're fucking kidding me. Bitch. Supposed to be Meyer lurks in this house. This is gonna piss me off. Well, this sucks. I don't like this. I mean, I'm getting loot, but that's not the point. Can't unlock that. I believe this is a house that old girl has lived in at some point or another. Um, the uh, overseer that we've been looking for. I'm just looting the hell out of this place. There ain't gonna be nothing left when I get done. A frat house. There's like a lot of burnt books in this house. Like a lot. been in here. Bitch. There's supposed to be Meyer lurks here. Why aren't there Meyer lurks? I don't like this. There's books everywhere. Wait, 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 wait. And I think there's another one right there. Yep. We'll go look in that house. I don't think they are. I think we're getting back into like raider territory. Hmm. I had said I was gonna <laughs> end the stream and you guys see what happened. that body in that chair scared the shit out of me. Oh, I was ready to end it all. I 
guess they're not in this house either. That's so weird. I guess maybe the Mirelurks are like attached to your level or maybe when there's a a daily to to kill so many, it makes them harder to find. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All I know is, wait, I'm, lo I'm I was about to say I'm lost in this house now. I guess what we'll do is we'll just go back to our camp and then we'll call it for the day. Any other day, there would have been Myra Lurks there, I bet. Any other day. That kind of pisses me off. I only need two. Oh, hello. Is that gravel? It show up. Yes, it was. Oh, we're going to leave that alone. Alright, no more Marlarks. I'm sad now. Wish there was a way you could just spawn them in. That's more like Fallout 4. On the plus side, speaking of Fallout 4, you guys, uh, F4SE, as in Fallout 4 Script Extender, has been, uh, reworked and is now correctly working again. So, um, there's that. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be in the rotation soon or anything like that. I'm just saying it's working now. Um, I have been playing a little bit of it on my own save in my off time. When I haven't been, like, <laughs> playing old school uh, Resident Evil on the GameCube, I have been just having a blasty blast on that. I'm not joking. Like, it's so fun. It's so fun. All right, so this is where we're going to leave the game for now. We're going to sit here in our lovely little camp. Oh, excuse me. I think I'm sleepy now. But we're going to sit here in our camp and kill it. That's sort of not what I meant to do, but it'll be all right. Mm, excuse me. Um, I feel like this was a really good stream, actually. What do you think, Boo? Very, very good stream. We got a lot done. We really did. We got a lot done. I, I'm happy with what we got done. Um... If you guys like my content and you'd like to see more of it, please consider going to my YouTube channel. I upload, I kind of took a week off while I was recouping from being sick, but I upload almost every single day. I have over 300 videos now. Um, the link to it is down below in my About Me section. I also have all of my socials. There is my YouTube, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Insta, and my TikTok. And I'm about to start uploading to TikTok again as well. So be on the lookout for that. I am super, super excited. I've got I've got some videos that have a couple hundred views and I've got some that have like over 500 views. I'm very, very proud of that because for a while there, I had, I, I've got a lot of videos that have no views. So, uh, and if they do have like only one or two, it's probably from this one right here. He is like my number one fan. He's always watching my videos. He might in fact be watching one now. Um, he likes to watch them with the sound off and the captions on because he hears my voice enough. Let's just say that. But uh, I had a lot of fun today. I really hope Joseph did too. I did. And um, did you have any questions or thoughts about the stream or the game itself? No. He never does. He's just like, I'm just happy to be involved. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you guys so much. I had so much fun. It's no secret that I could talk to the walls. But having you guys to talk to and having him in here to share it with me is like 
That is the coolest thing ever. I talked about this all day at work. I was like, I can't wait to go home because Joseph's going to be on, on the stream tonight. And I have one, one or two coworkers that I can talk about streaming with. And they were just like, well, I hope it's a great stream. So thankfully, they jinxed me in a good way. Um, in the meantime, don't forget, Friday, we will, we will be streaming. No, oh, one more little bit of house cleaning. Um, we've got some, uh, some projects coming up at work, possibly next week. Um, I still don't know for sure. I told my, my new immediate supervisor to get with me and let me know. But we may have some midnights next week. Um, if we do, if we do have the midnights that we've discussed, they will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So my Wednesday stream may not happen next week only because, um, I'll have a very, very narrow window be between the time I get home Tuesday and the time I have to get up and go to work Wednesday because I'll get home at probably noon on Tuesday and I'll have like an hour or two after I get home to eat and to go and, and then like go to bed and then get back up at 11 o'clock so I can get to work at midnight Wednesday. Um, and if that happens, um, I'm, I'm actually, if I, if I do a, a midnight Monday as well, I may not do my Monday stream. I will know Friday. I will know something by Friday's stream. I will let you guys know. Um, but I'm just letting you know that next week, my Monday, uh, stream, and possibly my Wednesday stream may not happen. It might be next week or it might be the following week. I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. So if I cancel, this is just due to work. Nothing else going on. Um, in the meantime, thank you guys so much. I had a blast with both Hoppy and Mallory and Joseph um, from our house to yours. Thank you guys so much. And we will see you on Friday for, at 4 o'clock for more funsy, funsies, fails, and shenanigans. In the meantime, be safe. Be kind and happy pride. Bye, guys.